How are you football fans? This Sunday, you can stream Arsenal v Man United and Chelsea v Wolves. That's two unmissable fixtures for a one-off payment of just €10. Euro. To grab a Now TV Sky Sports Day Pass and only pay for the games that matter to you, search Now TV today. Content streamed via internet, full terms at nowtv.com. <laughs> The show's about to start. everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Neuroconduct Radio. Tonight, we are talking about an actual very important topic in a relationship. Whether you're dating, whether you're married, it's very important, this topic. The do's and don'ts in an argument. What do you do in an argument? What shouldn't you do in an argument? How should you have a quote-unquote argument if you are in a relationship that you are looking for it to last? So that's what we're talking about tonight. We also have a sponsor uh, tonight that I'll be playing the commercial later on today, and you'll be able to find his book on our website. In the meantime, how is everyone doing? Uh, Don't well, everyone talk at once? Good God! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, volunteer myself because no one's speaking. Um, <laughs> I honestly, this is so weird. I'm, I'm at my office and I feel like someone dropped some type of an oily substance on the floor. So every time I walked around a corner, this corner by my desk, right, I slipped and fell and bruised myself three times, and I could have broken my wow. hip. You guys know I'm old now. This really freaks me out, though. I'm thinking, I was thinking, do I have balance issues or have mobility issues or is there something under my shoe? But, I mean, this is like a, a yoke, like, bam. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm totally bruised on one side. And the funny thing about it was it happened three times. And thank God no one noticed except for once because I looked ridiculous the first time it happened. And then I did it again and again. So either I'm goofy and I don't know how to walk normally or maybe it was intentional. Or maybe someone purposely put a banana peel, oil, oil from a banana peel there, like, hey, let's let Sharp all in the face three times. But seriously, I could have broke a hip. That's the scary thing. Don't all people break hips all the time? Or, or you could just sue the owner. <laughs> yeah, but the owner is Charles. That's real cute. Real cute. <laughs> How far well, would that go? I'm sue my man. Right. I know. <laughs> Darn, I <love> that idea. <laughs> sue the Even owner for though. unsafe working conditions. Exactly. So, yeah, I'm all bruised up, and I'm, I'm here, guys. Hello, everyone. Oh, poor mm-hmm. Sita. Um, I mean, Pain. check the floor. See what's on the floor. That's the only advice I can yeah. give you. Other than that, do you did you forget how to walk in heels or something? No, fortunately, I'm just wearing flat sandals. So I even took my shoes off and looked at the bottom to make sure they had that rubber that normally is there. But there was some type of a, like little drip drops or something. But I couldn't tell if it was an oily septic because who, who slips on water? Can you slip on water? Is that normal? I don't know. Yeah. Was some, yeah that's why they have to put up uh, signs to be careful. Of course you can slip on water. Oh, yeah, okay. Like if someone, even if it's warm and mop, that's true. No, really? but I mean little particles. This is little particles. It wasn't like a big obvious, you know, if it was if like a big obvious wet spot, down, I would know. You can slip on it, yes. Okay. That's why well, in that restaurants the they have to wear special non-slip shoes in the kitchen. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Boy, do I need those. Am I the only one who has patience to, like, explain this to her? Because everybody else is doing it all hard. Thank you. These days back there, like, what? Yeah, I didn't think of that. I just, well, no, I didn't think of it. But, you know, slippery when wet is a sign that will be put down in any any establishment when the floor is wet. I just meant, like, these are just tiny, like, small little particles of whatever it was. That was my point. 
How can I, how can I flip on that three times? I don't get it. Uh, what was me? At least I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I mean, okay, that's what we here? can say. At least you're alive. Exactly. And I didn't break a nail. I just got my nails done, too. I just left the nail shop. I could have actually, like, broken nails. That is nails. the most important thing. You did not break your nail. <laughs> exactly. For all the ladies out there, they're like, whoop, whoop. Good job, Sorry to break it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Women and their logic nails. Logic is not listening right now. <laughs> logic is not loving feminine Logic is right like. there listening. Oh. I think he probably tuned you out a long time ago. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Logic. Hi, Logic. Oh, my goodness. Hello, so. more. I guess the slow <laughs> Logic silence come back. Why? <laughs> BJ, why did he come on like Eeyore? Hello, hey, what? Star. Why did he come on like Eeyore? <laughs> no, Logic did that. I was saying, BJ, why oh. did Logic come on like Eeyore? Oh, oh. Didn't you Hello, watch freaking uh, that's Star. Didn't you, you watch, watch um, um Winnie the Pooh or that's not your generation? Yeah, when I was ten probably. I don't know. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh oh, is I it, watched the it last too. 30, Winnie the Pooh is like the last it wasn't my generation. sixty years of a generation. Like, I, I don't know. That's old. why I was like, didn't you get the joke? Like yeah. that's why I, I got the I got, no, I got he, the he's from, he's from the Felix the Cat era. <laughs> Is he? Spy versus spy. Spy versus that's spy. Yeah. Not true. No, that's isn't not true. Felix the that's Cat our true. generation? Because I remember the cartoon Felix the Cat. That was like 80s. No, no, listen. I think, no, I think you're right, Kai. It was before the 80s. What? No, listen. No, Felix, I think it was I mean, really Felix, the Felix, then Felix the 80s, first started the in like the early 1900s. <laughs> but I'm saying that was in the newspaper. <laughs> but the cartoon where you put a voice to the face. No, funny. it yeah, started the in the early 1900s. It was like a, it was like their answer to Mickey Mouse. Yeah, Logic, like, you're talking about the funnies really? and the, the funnies in the paper. Uh, yeah, it's really. Well, old. that's what I was talking that's about, but I didn't know they had a, a cartoon of Felix. Yeah, 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 of course, absolutely. Oh wow! So wait a minute, wait a minute, Kai, you're telling me <laughs> the only way you know Felix is reading a comic? The funnies. That's no, <laughs> listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying I know in our generation there was the cartoon Felix, and I also know about it in the paper because I used to read that little comic strip. However, I'm saying before our generation, I didn't know they had the cartoon Felix. I thought it was just the comic Felix in the newspaper. <sighs> Oh, well, that might be. I mean, that might be the case. I I understand what you're saying now. No. Well, over there in those beautiful islands with all the palm trees swaying and the sound of the ocean, maybe there wasn't. I don't know. I don't know. But I just feel like, you know what, I still feel like Winnie the Pooh was first, though. I think that was our generation, BJ. Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Winnie the Pooh wasn't first. He wasn't. No, it wasn't first. No? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it was a book no, no, no. a long, long, long time ago, but as far as yeah. cartoons, no, it's right. pretty, pretty recent. Okay, if you if you guys really want to take it back, let's just go all the way back to Popeye, because Popeye is my favorite, like for real, of all Popeye time. Popeye is your cartoons. favorite? Yes, I absolutely love it. When he opens the spinach, he gets the muscles. When he's trying to defend olive oil, and and I was oh like olive oil because that was my. That's what the kids teased me and called she me was when like, I was so up. little. How would you like olive oil? I hated wait, wait, wait. it. How would you like <laughs> olive oil? No, no, no. Listen, I was so skinny. I was just. You know how kids are. Kids are mean. And when I was maybe like you know elementary school, it was oh olive oil. That that was what everybody said. It was horrible. Because when you're a kid, you're not developed, and you you know you you don't have all your shape and all that yet. You know. So I remember that. So oh, she was my hero, you didn't have too. your shape then? Wow. When I said Char a kid, didn't have her like, shape I, then. No, yeah, no, was, listen. Know, don't, right? Let's not get it twisted. I started getting boobs. I knew, I knew okay, it. There you go. There you go. But no, I mean, you were 11. <laughs> I, you I, just got a way to be. That's why I was 11. I always had, no, I always had a nice butt, but I didn't know it. Because, like, you don't look at yourself. But you don't look at yourself. Yeah, obviously you had to look at yourself to see that. She had a nice ass as a kid. Oh, I, oh, absolutely, I did. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, it was there. But still, I was just so freaking that skinny is... at the same time. So I'm just you got so sick of being teased. You know and what I mean? That is really. And my boobs started coming really in. That's really something that you can say boobs. you had a nice ass as a kid. Well, I didn't say it when I was a kid. 
because you don't think of that. But looking back, it's like, whoa. But here's the funny thing. Do you guys remember this? Okay, okay, Kai, Kai, I don't know. This The guys may not, but Kai, did you ever talk do this Kai. when you were kids? Yeah, talk to Kai. When you were like 10 years old, did you ever look down your shirt and say ATCI? No, no way. Your friends, did no. you have a friend say, okay, let no. me ask you this. Can, can you spell attic? 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 Oop. Like an attic Oop. upstairs at the top of the roof? Spell, what the hell were you attic. doing what? when you were little? Okay, listen. No. Just try it. Look down your shirt and spell the word attic. <laughs> As in the like, uh, you know, the top of a roof attic. So look down your shirt and spell attic. You didn't do that. Try it. She's a lonely child. She she had no friends. So. Try it. I just want to hear her. Why talk. would I like, do that? The What's the point of it? Like, oh, can yeah, you spell attic? A T T I C. So when you're really little, you don't see your TTs. You're not even in a training bra. And then oh, I, I was God. being teased because Once again, they asked like, you, what kind of go. games were you I'm playing when you were little? Char, what in the <laughs> hell are you talking about? What are you talking about, Char? Char. Okay, guys. When you okay. have a conversation with people, it must be mutually entertaining. <laughs> you cannot constantly <laughs> go on long about journeys about stuff nobody else gets or understands. <laughs> Logic. People are boys, not going to want to talk to you. You and Logic, you, you and Logic, you and, you and BJ are boys. Are you not considered to be men? But you were boys when you were children. You mean to tell me, even as little boys, you weren't looking to see if some little girls had TTs and tatas? I don't believe it. But, but you know what? You, listen, you know what I wouldn't do as a grown man? Have a conversation about it for 20 <laughs> minutes where everybody else is just quiet. Like, okay. Looking at you like, yeah, you know what, Kai? I what are we supposed to from this? I should have said, Kai, I should have said breath. That would have got their attention. That's all I had to do no, was say no. breath. Hey, hey, just I, more than I, I don't think that's God. the point of this conversation at all. Well, well anyway. That's five minutes I remember. Kai, olive oil. <laughs> that was, that was what did you say, BJ? <laughs> so hmm. I have a question for you, Char, though. I, I do really have a question. How fast were you as a little girl that you let boys look down your shirt? No, you don't. You guys don't understand. That's not how the game goes. You don't let the boys look down. It's I a say game. You. Game. No, game. listen. That's not. That's not how the game goes. Um, your your girlfriend will say, like a friend, girl, girlfriend, you know, will say, spell, look down your shirt and spell attic. So that's what girls do. But the guys would laugh if they hear it and laugh and run on the playground and you go chase each other and somebody goes behind the building and maybe they'll get a kiss on the cheek. I don't know. I mean, it's Penn Playground, I guess. <laughs> but, no, you don't really... know. A, guy doesn't, a boy doesn't say it. The girls say it. It's just like just like um, the other one, I must, I must, I must increase my bus. 11-year-olds and 12-year-olds did that. Forgot knows how many years and they still do. So it's just a coming of age. I've thing never where heard of that starting to ever understand. in the ever. Because you were from ever. the islands, they weren't doing that in the islands. I just said probably where <laughs> the beautiful palm trees were. You guys had your own game. Oh, <laughs> coming of God. age, you know, quadro. I I I, I, I only yeah. grew up in the islands till I was like eight. After that, I was in the U.S. and I don't remember doing any of that. Maybe well, I just was an eight-year-old in the game crowd. No, these were eight I'm, to ten year old games. That's what I'm telling you. After yeah, that, I was you're, here. You're eight, gonna be between developing. eight and ten. <laughs> oh, I was here well, between eight and ten. But like I'm saying, I guess I wasn't in the cool crowd, which I'm <laughs> glad I wasn't there. That's really. Well, she, well, she wasn't in the cool crowd either. You know what? The funny thing crowd. is, experimental the funny thing is, kids still do that. No, kids still do that. My nieces and nephews still do that. I catch them. They, like they didn't even know what? that I did. They still play those little games. A T T I C. Look down your still at it. Wow. Well, I must. I must. I must increase my bus. Wow. And I walk in like, what are y'all doing in here? Oh, sorry, Auntie. <laughs> They're giggling. You know, it's just little little girls. What thing. the it's hell? Just, it's really anything yeah, really. Our family, that... our family reunion picnic is wonderful. <laughs> no, it's Dude. normal. It's absolutely normal. No, it's not. It's normal. It is. It's just stuff that girls talk about, but guys, like, they'll whisper and giggle because they know that girls do that when they're little. Oh, everybody's so immature. They don't know what the heck is. First of all, guys don't whisper and or giggle. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. No, little boys. Thank you. I'm talking about little boys. Well, little boys absolutely do. Uh, little boy. I'm talking about little boys. So little sure boys what. whisper and giggle with each other. <laughs> no, when yeah, they see the girls, when they're around. No, when they're around girls, because they're shy and 
You know how kids are. Kids are awkward. Get, no, no. Being kids shy and then saying boys whispering and giggle is two different things. Two different. Yeah, two very, very, very <sighs> different. <laughs> I don't know. I, I beg to differ because I know I, children have not changed in, since the beginning of time, so. You guys missed all really? those memos. Really? Are you so, Pretty oh much they God. have. Have you? Have you, have you looked at you the news? Have you guys just came out and all on, on two feet? I said, have you looked at the news? Are you, what? Oh, I'm about to say. No, no. Have you seen no, no, kids no, nowadays? I don't mean, <laughs> I don't mean wow. that. I mean, I mean just the natural way of thinking when you're, like, when you're a child child. I don't mean someone who's reared with, you know, an ex-murderer as, as, as a parent, and, you know, they're, they're exposed to all types of gruesome, gory, you know, that – the, all of that. No, I don't mean that. I just mean a normal child is is thinking the same types of things as they they a child like mine. It's just you know. It's no, no. See, wholesome. see, that's different. It's now age, a child eight like years old now, Char. They have internet. No way. We didn't have the internet <laughs> at, at eight. So that's totally different. You know? Could you just tell? Uh, okay, that's that's a good why point. they're so screwed up now. Huh? Yeah, that's a good yeah, point. Now, nowadays, uh, yeah, nowadays kids that is can true. demand that their parents take them into the doctor to get surgery because they're the wrong yeah. sex. Mm-hmm. That's at ten or twelve, right? And if you don't yeah, do you it, you're are right. Things are very different. We're crushing their I mean, civil they're very rights. different. They're so much for being wholesome, right? And and mm. innocent and all that. I guess that's gone. Mm. Yeah, it's gone. Those days are gone. That's a bygone era. <laughs> so, Basically. Yeah, not the same. <laughs> bygone. Wow. <laughs> but this turned into it's a gone. very weird conversation. Mm, sure. I guess. <laughs> well, you guys can what carry on. You guys can carry on because I'm eating my Slinky anyway. Or I'm eating a cupcake, so a hostess. I'm I'm. I'm silent for a moment here. I'll just, I'll just listen. You were silent at eating at the same time. You wasn't silent all that time. <laughs> no, right now I'm enjoying a cupcake. Okay, that's why I'm, I'm like, just carry on without me. I'm just gonna eat my cupcake. Mm. Well, okay. anyways, on that note, mm. so I have, let me find it, a story to read to y'all, and it comes from Fox News. And no, I don't normally go to Fox News. Matter of fact, when stuff pops up on my on my wall I, and it's Fox News, I tend to look it up somewhere else so I don't have to go to Fox News. But anyways, this story caught my attention, and I wanted to read it to you. So the headline says, Billionaire Diamond Trader Dies During Penis Enhancement Procedure. Oh, yeah. I heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. So it says, Dude, guess how old he was. Just just take a guess how old he was. What did I... Uh, 27. What did okay, I say? Logic said 70. <laughs> BJ, you said what? 80. And Char, you said? 27. I'm just going for younger. 27? Well, I'm just going for a while. A 27 a billionaire diamond broker? Billionaire? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep eating no, your I'm cupcake. Keep eating your cupcake. Oh, you got <laughs> I, I'm not going for a while after. I'm serious. I just want to throw that, that out there. Keep eating that Twinkie, Char. <laughs> and watch out for the oil <laughs> flick. Good Lord. Damn. 27. <laughs> Yo, I must have did a lot I'm of stuff. I'm a billionaire who went faster, to get a penis guys. enhancement. Anyway, well, no, Logic was closer. He was, he was 65. Oh, Logic okay. was closer. He was 65. Okay, so, so a billionaire cool. diamond trader has died during a penis enlargement operator, operation at a at a posh Parisian clinic, it was reported. I don't know how to say his name. Ehud Iri Laniado, I don't know, died at the age of 65 in the clinic of an unnamed plastic surgeon on the Avenue des Champs-Élysées in the French capital. Uh, according to local media, complications during surgery proved fatal for the Belgian Israeli dual national, and he suffered a heart heart attack when a substance was injected into his penis. Because he thought it was too so, he, he wasn't that's big enough. Did. Yeah, that's crazy. I, that's what he get. Not satisfied with his wow his manhood. He said, "Oh, <laughs> like, do, do you realize how damaged you have to be with your self esteem that at sixty? Five yeah. years old. Yeah. You still worried about how big your dick is, and you're a billionaire. <laughs> you're a billionaire. You're a billionaire. Right. 
Right, that's true. That's a good point. They'll sleep you can with buy you all the Viagra in the world, money. too. <laughs> like, no, he can buy all the Viagra that, that he ever wants to. <laughs> and, I guess, and, his, and his wife would just, uh, she, I guess she spent all the money. She, you know, she'll find somebody younger. That's funny. Well, let me see. How it doesn't say. say was that's what I was about to say. It doesn't say he was married. Um, I thought he was married. Oh, he wasn't married? Oh, I'm looking. <clears throat> Doesn't say he was married. He was in the news before for tax evasion. How are you a billionaire and you're eva- evading I mean, your taxes? That's called, it's called greedy. Oh, it's called wow. greedy. That's greedy. Wow. Yeah. So what do you do? You didn't pay $999,000 oh. in taxes? What? Dude. The old, uh, so an old friend of his, his says that Laniato was always focused on his appearance and how others perceived him. According to Laniato's friends, the only time he forgot about his short height, so he was short also. Oh my the gosh, only time he man. forgot about his the only time he forgot about his short height was when he asked his accountant to read out his bank statement, something which he did multiple times a day. Dang. Oh yeah, some serious psychological problems. Oh psychological my God. problems. Wow. Yo, that's man. So crazy. See, you see? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's a shame yeah, that he had such little serious self esteem. And but yet have so much. Damn. Yeah, Man. that's a shame. All I know is this: if you're a billionaire, you can buy Viagra. You have enough Viagra to last you. I just, for I just a picture a dude there dressed no like a Bond villain sitting back and saying, <laughs> "Read my bank statement," and then he's just smoking a cigarette and stroking a cat. Like, yes, how many zeros? <laughs> It should have given him yeah. a heart on yeah, it. Like, I, like, yeah, I, I, feel, I feel better now, yeah. As you imagine, that's how he's just self-esteem so low, right? That's, that's, that's his self-esteem so low. Though. Don't you know, a gold digger could actually come in, you know, and just, just juice him for everything. If and he, just you know, take like, everything from him. If it, yeah, just, just, keep, the just right feed his ego. Just keep feeding his ego, yep. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know what? I don't see why he had surgery to make his weebie grow. Why did he have surgery to make his BB bigger? All he had to do was read his bank, have his bank statement read to him, and that would have given him what heart on. What his BB? His wee wee. No, it, that oh, didn't oh. give him the heart on. Obviously, it just made him feel better about himself. But that he had to get it read multiple times a day. That tells you he had to remind himself that he was worth something. <laughs> oh my god! Isn't that crazy? That's that, crazy. I mean, you're laughing, but that's pretty sad. That's uh, yeah. it. Yes, it is sad. It's just too much. It's just. Overboard. That's, like that's really the ultimate crazy. self-esteem issue. That is crazy. Yeah, exactly. Right. Damn. Right. A lot of issues. And it looks like thing. with everything, he was always just compensating. He owned the most expensive penthouse um, that was worth over <laughs> three point nine. Uh, sorry, $39.4 million. Uh, he also owned a house in L.A. For, for a box? In the suburb of Bel Air. Uh, he drank. I don't know what this is. Chateau Margot. He drank bottles of Chateau Margot with models and celebrities. Um, and he actually didn't go to college. He started off his career as a massage therapist in the Hilton Hotel in Tel Aviv, in Israel. Wow! Wow! Damn. So it's just happy ending. (laughs) In 2015, let's see. Okay, a friend said, um, it turned out he did have some talents. Internationally, he was one of the biggest experts in valuing raw diamonds. In 2015, he sold the world's most expensive diamond called the Blue Moon of Josephine to Hong Kong businessman and and convicted felon Joseph Lao Lin Hung for $48.4 million. So he started off as a regular average Joe and built himself up. And he still mm-hmm. felt bad about himself. <coughs> wow. Yeah, he, wow. he didn't inherit daddy's money. He built himself from a massage therapist, billionaire, and he still felt bad about himself. Well, then you got to stand back. Well, how, how was his childhood? His reason? How was they raising him? You know, were they always, was it always? Um, I mean, can't you afford therapy at that point in time? It's been like your childhood. You might not, therapy might not work all the time. But that, you also you know, have to be able to identify something's wrong with you. Right. Like how many people right now are running around out there and because they have a certain amount of followers on Twitter or they have this many chicks in their phone or this much money in their bank, they think, oh, I'm doing it. I'm good. I'm all right. 
and something is seriously emotionally wrong with these people. Look at these celebrities. They're rich, famous, wow. and they can't keep a relationship. How is yep. that possible? Crazy. What could you possibly <laughs> argue about? You're not arguing about bills, which is the main reason most people break up is money problems. So hmm. what can it be? Why can't you keep somebody in a relationship with you unless something's wrong with you? Look at all these cute girls I mean, that, I guess. that don't have. Look, like, look, Jennifer Aniston. All these, you know, I hear white guys all the time talking about how hot she is. I, it, she's how, how long? I guess did you it preface, it, preface it with that by you don't think she's hot. Say what? I said I guess you prefaced it with I hear white guys say it all the time. I guess you don't think she's hot. No, she she looks like a gen- generic white girl to me. I don't, you know, it. it she looks like a girl I, next door I, to me. It, it takes more than whatever she is for right. me to be like, oh, you know what I mean? Not that I, cause I've, I've seen plenty of uh, cute white girls, but she's not one of them. So you, you guys I, don't I, think I don't she's like it. a girl next door, like a typical girl next door, just cute, but not like. I well, hate I mean, that there's... term. No, we I'm not going to let you finish. Why does the girl <laughs> next door only have to be a white girl? That's my question. Well, we were talking about a white girl. There is other yeah, ethnicities but then of girls you use the next term door. Girl next door. I live near white people and live near black people. I live near Latinos. Why does the girl next door always have to be the blonde haired, blue eyed white girl? Don't ask me. It's just well, because been that's the majority of people in this yeah. country is white people. Yeah. <clears throat> I, okay, but I mean, you don't have to use the term. I refuse to use that term. I'm not using it if, if it pertains well, if, to just I, that stereotype. If you're hearing somebody saying that, specifically talking about white women, then yes, that's that's an issue. But usually when people say the girl next door, they just mean that she's not a hot model-looking chick, whoever she is, Asian, white, black, whatever. Thank you, They're, Logic. Usually that's people are, are – what? I said thank you, Logic. That's very true. Usually people are just they're talking about a look, not a not a specific skin color. You know what I mean? Right. Like you'll have an Asian girl that looks like uh Tia Carrera, right? Mm. She's crazy. Dwayne's mm. world chick. She's crazy yeah. cute. You know, she doesn't look like your average Asian girl walking around working at the mall or something. Then you'll have a girl that they say, Oh, she has a girl next door lip. And is an Asian girl. Now, are they saying she looks like a white person or whatever? No, they're just saying she just looks like an average, like average. Asian girl. Cute, cute, but average, yeah. You know what I mean? Not like, wow. That's what people okay. are talking about when they say girl or guy next door. Like, The Rock is not the guy next door, but no. Steve Carell might be the exactly. dude next door. See, see Claude, that I think if The right? Rock That's was exactly my guy next door, thinking. I would be like, I would be fit as crap. I would follow his <laughs> regimen. <laughs> Did you say fit? fit? I would follow his regimen. Like, oh, he's getting up to Hello. go exercise. Let me go, too. He'd Hello. like the incentive. <laughs> Y'all thought I was going to say something else, right? Get your mind out the gutter. I don't know where you were going with it, but was that, was that, is that <laughs> an attempt to eventually get his number along with getting fit or just because you just really want to be fit and he's I, the perfect person? I wouldn't want his next door. number. I mean, I would, I, would, I would not mind being his friend, but that's about it. Uh, friend yeah, with yeah, eventual like benefits. With eventual benefits. No, like no eventual Bodies. benefits, Char. Sometimes you can Come just on, be Dwayne friends. Johnson, whatever his name is. Eventual I don't benefits. care. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm into him. It's Dwayne Johnson. Cool. He's Dwayne Johnson. He lives next door to me. That means I'm rich as <sighs> and I made it. <laughs> that's yeah, what I get from that. Door, right? Look at our neighborhood. He lives next door to me. <laughs> For real. That's you what hear, I get from that. Damn, I made it. Right. I know. <laughs> yeah. That makes now, sense. if you're talking about some, I don't know. I don't know who's who's out there right now <laughs> that I actually think rock. is hot. She would just want to <laughs> hang out and be friends. That's what she just want. <laughs> I would. I don't like just want to be the rock. buddies. Okay, listen. Right. Listen you know, to me. They're going to talk about the rock, whatever show they watch If it was The Rock TV, back in wrestling days, then yeah. Over the That's different. <laughs> like, no, no, no. You know, I don't you like, like you know, Have you right? seen, like, okay, what do you call the shoulder muscles up there? Those shoulder muscles? What do you call those? Call the delts. 
Oh, the There's plenty of them. Uh, have you seen how about freakishly the huge yeah. they are? Okay. I don't know what okay. they're called. The ones right on top, like that you, connect to your neck. So between your shoulders and your tracks. neck. The tracks. The tracks. The tracks. No, I, I that, guess. those are your, um, yeah, yeah, your trap muscles. Oh, so you like trap muscles? You like but, trap muscles? Okay, so my thing is he went from being the rock, which, yes, that was nice. If I live next door to the rock in the wrestling world, that will be different. So he went from being that to the skinny rock, Dwayne Johnson, which I was absolutely not for. And then he just blew up. And I just don't like how his body looks now. It's just like unnatural. I don't like it. So no, I wouldn't I wouldn't be drooling all over him, no. So so you're saying that you would have <laughs> been all over the Dwayne Johnson circa Scorpion King as opposed yeah, to the guy. Yeah, He now. looked nice then. He looked his body <laughs> was Proportionate and he looks nice. Now he just looks weird. I mean, I think he's a nice guy. I'd be his friend. You know, no problem with that. But it's just like Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa in uh, what's that? What's that show? Uh, when he had the dreads. Um, I forgot the name of the show, but he was in a show. He had dreads. That Jason Momoa, I would be all over. Jason Momoa back in um, the Life Garden sh- show? No, that that was way too skinny and way too clean cut. And Jason Momoa now? Oh God, no, 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 no. So I, I'm very picky. I'm sorry. I don't know who's out that. there now. That. That. Even... That. I don't know who's out there now that's even sexy because it used to be Brad Pitt, but then. It seems like when he got with Angelina Jolie, he just turned old, like right. overnight. Right. So he yeah. just he doesn't look good anymore. Will Smith turned old like overnight. He just became a grandpa. Yeah. Oh God, yeah, he used to be cute. Now he looks like grandpa. He looks like Uncle Phil. And you know what I don't? You know what I don't understand about Will Smith? <laughs> he just he he started a YouTube channel, and it's like yeah. he's. He's updating it like he's doing videos. He actually does like, videos. I've seen them. I've seen some of them. Like, what is I the don't point watch of that? Are you on YouTube? I know he got an Instagram. I, oh, you know, yeah. he's on YouTube. Oh. No, he's he on YouTube. YouTube. Like, yeah. he will post uh, 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 at least an a update every couple of weeks where he oh, does wow. something. And they recorded. Put attention on himself about something that he's going to do for all these people to be like, oh, watch him. I didn't want to wow. listen. I didn't want to be cynical and be like, he cannot be that desperate for attention that he has to make a right. channel now <clears throat> because mm-hmm. you know. But I, I can't understand any other reason why he would be doing it. I kind of wondered about that too, though. Did you see when he jumped out the helicopter uh, logic while they made even even some of his crew? From, no, I, I don't watch it. I don't watch there. it at all. I just I know oh, okay. I know the channel is good. But my yeah, thing yeah, is, I don't, I don't, I don't watch it myself. He's, no, he's like, going maybe, through extremes, is what I'm saying. He's going through extremes with some of what he's showing. That's what I'm. That's the reason I, I, I thought to that. myself maybe there could have been something in him where he wanted to, you know, experience things and capture moments and stuff. But then I thought he would have done something like Seinfeld did, which is comedians and cars getting coffee where Simon doesn't cool, need yeah. the money that's but you cool. can tell he's just literally just wants to hang out with people he thinks are funny or interesting have a conversation with them and then keep it moving so mm-hmm. like I just felt somebody on his level would have just had like some kind of maybe YouTube, no, no, not YouTube Netflix show or Amazon right. Prime thing where he just right. did stuff every now and again or experience something that was like, you know, would would bring it to the people and then move on. But YouTube, I just didn't get it. I didn't get the reason for it. And I kind of felt bad for YouTube content, as they call them, content creators, because it's like, how can this guy has a built in fan base. So it's like whatever amount of hits he's going to get. And obviously it's monetized, so he's going to get paid. You, that's an unfair advantage. He's going to knock the you, categories right off the bo- or the topics off the box, whoever is trying to do something else. Really yeah. Think. But Logic, do you think that maybe part of it is because he just wants to appeal to people as a common person that's more on their level, just as a no. regular 
guy. No. Like, hey, guys, this is <laughs> no. offset. No. I mean, think about what I'm saying. No. It's offset. No. You know, just being me. No. Just, oh, okay. No. But I thought you didn't No. So how can you say no when you're Everything watching Everything these celebrities do is to further no, no. their career and their popularity. Yep. Exactly. I don't care yeah. who it is. Brad Pitt building houses and so and so giving water. If there's cameras around and they yep. document it and it gets out, it's because they want people to know about it. That's it. There is no other reason. It, it, there's no other reason. Because if they really just wanted to do something nice, they'd do it and be quiet about it and you would never know. Like they would use proxies and buffers to, hey, take this down there, give this $20,000 to this group and just, you know, whatever. They would do uh, donations under John Doe. You would never know who it was. And they would just say, that's, oh, we got a big be donation. Be anonymous, but, 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 but huh? you missed be what? Point. It would be what? It would, it would, it would, it would be anonymous. I can say anonymous now. Anonymous. I can say it now. I've been practicing. So, no, you I can, can say it now. Say it now. Keep, keep practicing. Hey, now, I think she can say it now. Anonymous. Can say it. She can okay, say it now, so and she's proud. Goes, I can, I can say it. But, but logic, I just think that you guys. I think he's missing just one point of my question about that. Oh logic God. is believe. I believe that logic. I believe that you're thinking it's more so, you know, humanitarian ethics. He's not saying that he's a humanitarian. He was not trying to give away anything. I'm talking about Will Smith. He wasn't trying to, you know, feed the poor and, and get this attention. He literally it was has a just channel an just showing himself Char. being himself. It, it, it was no, 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 no. He gave example, several Char. examples. No, no. What he, he was saying, though, examples. was no matter what uh, they're doing. This is not a humanitarian what effort. He, okay, okay, okay. okay. Check it. That. Check it. Shh, shh, shh. Let me say something. Okay. What he was saying was, as long as they have cameras in their faces, and they're putting it out there for the public. No matter what they're doing, they're doing it to further their career. So what could be, could be in Will Smith's mindset right now is, lot, like, what is it called? Reality TV is the end thing. So he's right. trying to do, trying to show people behind the scenes, which for further his reality, career. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's that's a possibility. Listen, of what I'll, I'll give you. I'll, listen, I'll give you. I'll give you a prime example. In the nineties, if a celebrity woman or someone who was trying to make their way up, whenever a sex tape would leak, that would <laughs> destroy their career. They would be done. It would be over. At some point, after the Kardashians. Sex tapes were not only not a problem, but sometimes it could make a buzz for you. And, you know, people would start to wonder who you are. You know, mm-hmm. so all of, the, all of a sudden now, you have all these sex tapes, air quotes, accidentally being leaked all over the place. And people, oh, mm-hmm. no, I had no idea. <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden these people are on, you know, c- celebrity reality shows and stuff like that thinking right. I'm going to now I'm on a fast track to try to get out there what changed nothing changed so it's like what all of a sudden people just start leaving it out on coffee tables like you know oh I can't believe <laughs> right. you got no but it's it's yeah. on purpose it's the same like yeah. again if a hurricane hits you're rich and you're like oh my god these people I can't believe that that's happening you would send money and then not Make sure that you put your name. You would do it through something else. Like if you had a cousin named Bob, you know, Spagucci, you would say you would send him some money and say, "Hey, Bob, uh, do me a favor. Put this in your account. Once it clears, write a check, send it to the mm-hmm. hurricane." Because I, I don't want people to know it was me. I don't. I don't. It's not about that. It's just about those people getting help that they need. So Bob Spagucci would send a check, and they'd be like, Who, "Who's this guy? I don't know. He just sent fifty grand. That's great." And they keep it moving, having no idea that it came from, you know, Charvet, right. the, the intergalactic model. You know, so you would never need <laughs> to know that unless you wanted people to know that. To know. You yeah. know, you, uh-huh. you want to go and you want to build houses. Guess what? You think, uh, uh, I don't know, Samuel L. Jackson or whatever couldn't catch a flight down there 
you know, make sure he put a bunch of, you know, like bandanas on and some sunglasses and nobody would ever know it was really him. He would just show up and where you want these sandbags and do it and leave. Yeah. But the fact that they have photographers <laughs> taking yep. pictures of them <laughs> doing work, you wanted people to know that you went down there and you did it. So it's yeah. not, you're not really doing it for, oh, I just want to help out. You're doing it so people can say, Wow, that Brad Pitt is down to earth. I really like him. When's this next <laughs> movie coming out? That he's such a great guy, and that and that helps your brand. I just want to come off as an everyday person. <laughs> Same thing with Oprah. You get a car. You get a car. You get. What is she doing yeah. now? She's doing yeah. a show where they're talking about Michael Jackson after he's dead. All of a sudden, these two guys <laughs> pop up and say, oh, yeah, I got blessed too. And she, she's there Agreeing. doing yeah. the interview. Now, why does this billionaire need to do this? She exactly. doesn't. So what's the reason? You know what I mean? It's all, it's, it's, nothing is just happenstance, like, oh, all of a sudden you got the urge to get back into your – investigative reporter bag, but you were friends <laughs> with Weinstein for 20 years and never said anything? It doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. <laughs> Everything they do is for a reason, and they have their little, you yeah. know, uh, uh, alliances that they have or favors that right. they do. And, you know, yeah. all of these, whenever there's pictures and money and, Oh, I mean, let me tell you about the time so and so gave me money to send my daughter to college. They they right. okayed this person right. to tell that story. Listen, just uh-huh. to make sure that when you go on the radio, you tell people that I. Ew, yeah, like, that's yeah, why you gave like, me the um, money. No, I'll take yeah, you heard it saying like there's a bad press and sometimes good press too. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yep. It's, it's just like uh, bad, sometimes, bad sometimes, out. sometimes when and after this, we're gonna go ahead and go to commercial. But like sometimes when these celebrities go to the gym, they go to just a, a restaurant. They actually go to the ones that they know the paparazzi frequent. Either that, mm-hmm. or they call a team of paparazzi to meet them there, or mm-hmm. they quote unquote leak the story of where they're going to be. Right. Yeah, the publicist mm-hmm. will call and say, uh, yep. you know, yeah. Mr., you know uh, uh, what's his name? Um, what's the captain? Uh, Chris Evans is going to be down at the L.A. Fitness at 2 o'clock today. And <laughs> It'd be outside. Next thing you know, TMZ has pictures. Oh, you're gearing yep. up for the next Avengers movie. <laughs> what can we expect? To- oh, isn't that isn't that ironic? You just isn't catch that, me yeah. while I'm looking. My greatest coming into the gym, not sweaty and dogged <laughs> out, you know, right, celebrity right. so-and-so chick getting yeah. coffee. Oh, what perfect timing. Yeah. You catch her with a full <laughs> face of makeup yeah. at 7 yeah. in the morning, getting a cup of coffee, looking great, you know, sporting yeah. her yeah. new so-and-so. Ugh. Right. That, yeah. that's, that's, that's how they got so many shots of question because she leaked that every <laughs> I wonder why it started with her that when a porn video comes out, it's Man. okay. I wonder why. Mm-hmm. I just, you know, I'm not saying she did anything to anybody for that to happen. I'm just saying, I just, I just wonder why that, why her. I'm not even necessarily going to blame her. I mean, because I, to me, I'm more hanging that on society. Like, why did you, why did you celebrate this? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it, it, she, she should have dropped it, and people would have been like. Well, they should have been like, who the hell is Kim Kardashian? And they kept it moving. Because mm-hmm. who, I mean, honestly, who is she? What does she do? She doesn't do right. anything. So it right. should have, it literally should have just been, who is this nobody that just dropped a sex tape with a, with a yeah. somebody's little brother? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's as far as it yeah. should have gotten. But as far as your question, why that shift happened, I I don't know. That's one of the weirdest things in society, to me, in in social society, why that was such a culminating event. I don't know. Well, on that note, we are going to go to commercial, and when we get back, we're going to discuss 
the do's and don'ts of an argument. Oh, man, I wanted to read that article about Matt Barnes going off on Black China. You know what? When we come back, we're going to read that article real quick because I've had it sitting there for some months. I wanted to talk about that, and then we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts of an argument. So we're going to go to commercial now. Kai here from No Conduct Radio. I want to tell you about this book that I found on Amazon called Retrospect by Brian Domenico. It takes place in the year 3421 where humans, novice, and alien races coexist. At the heart of this existence, the United Planetary Congress forms the foundation of political theater. The Galactic Interpol Society must now investigate Retrospect which is a set of stolen codes capable of crippling a newly developed artificial Earth planet. Agent Jonah, one of the society's top priority agents, must immerse himself within the violent political shadows surrounding Retrospect while fighting off novice terrorists, a rogue group of galactic agents, and a powerful political figure. So I want you to go ahead and check out Retrospect by Brian Domenico. You can find it on Amazon, but also to make it easier on you, you can just go to our website, www.noconduct.com, and you'll find Retrospect right there on our homepage. That's www.noconduct.com. And we're back, so go on over to our website right now. It's on the page right now, www.noconduct.com, and you can find out more about Retrospect. And this book is amazing for people who love sci-fi. You want to know a secret about this commercial? When I recorded this, I don't know if you all could hear it in my voice, but I am pissed off. (laughs) I don't know what it was about this ad spot, but I kept, tongue twist and everything mm-hmm. like I kept messing up and then like one time I was right near the end and I messed it up again I was by the time I did this take I was pissed off wow <laughs> I don't know can you hear that in my voice or it doesn't sound like it I couldn't hear it I couldn't you hear you it just sounded, if you just sounded passionate and excited about the product or I mean about the, the product about the I mean, I am. I it was, was a, you know, it was a really good it's book. Normal. So I, I am. But by the time of this recording, I was so frustrated. It was like, ah. Is it like take <laughs> well, I, guess I'm a, I know, right? I guess I'm a good <laughs> professional actress. Then that's why it sounded like that. Yeah, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was so <laughs> <proud of> <laughs> <laughs> We love the show. We love your commercials. We live for your commercials. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So let me – look, I've had this article sitting here trying to read it to y'all since last year, believe it or not. I think it was like November, December when this thing came out. Yes! I've been trying to read this article. I keep forgetting it because I always put everything in my show notes. Whatever's not on my show notes doesn't happen. So I keep forgetting to put this on in my show notes. And today when I was going through the articles that I I wanted to read to you all, this came up. And I was like, oh, my God, I still have this. So anyways, so this article is from BT, and it says, Mm. Matt Barnes goes all the way off on Black China saying, quote, women these days use kids as paychecks. (laughs) He also told her to go back to the poll. <laughs> so Matt Barnes was not too happy when Black China told him to mind his business and stay out of her custody battle. The former Warriors player posted several Instagram story videos saying women use babies as paychecks. On, uh, on a Shade Room post, a legend Rob Kardashian was taking legal action to lower the 20000 a month child support payments he makes to Black China Barnes commented with a fist emoji. China snapped on Barnes and commented, mind your own business, loser. Barnes then commented back, uh, commented, back to the poll you go, before posting a series of videos. Uh, in the videos, Barnes says he doesn't know the personal details of their child support battle, and he never commented on the situation. He then went on to say uh, the posted fist, fist emoji because he knows it doesn't cost $20,000 a month to raise a baby. He also said these days women use kids as paychecks and buy material goods for themselves, you know, instead of for the children. 
He also said, quote, most of these women out here buy cars, bags, going on vacations with that child support money, which is completely true. It does not cost $20,000 a month to raise a baby. And in the legal action that Rob Kardashian was doing, she gets $20,000 a month. He was going back to the judge saying, look, I don't make that much. I, he's not into stuff with his sisters. He's not on the show. He doesn't make that much money. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think he start, tried to start a sock business or some crap like that, which obviously failed. Right, yeah, it's <laughs> but, yeah. I think she mm-hmm. just thought since she was getting with a Kardashian, she was going to get paid. But yep. it's the girl that's making the money, and that's true. Rob's not ma- making money. You know what I'm saying? So she, she I guess had she had to do her homework before she thought she had this payday. No, she should have had a lesbian <laughs> affair with Chloe, and then she probably could have come out on top like she wanted to because <laughs> she's, yeah. yeah. I mean, she flushed she out should have had a lesbian affair. She has no preference. <laughs> she has no preference. She's just a That's thought, right. so it doesn't matter. No, but she has no preference. She'll just sleep with whoever. So if you were that smart, you should have just <laughs> attacked one of the girls because no. it's only the if females smart, in the family that have the money. Use the condom if he was smart. I don't, I don't feel for No, no, you're missing the point. That's, she did that on purpose because she wanted me. to get She's pregnant. Done. She wanted to get hey. pregnant because she figured she was set for life. Listen, what? And hold she on. was wrong. This, this, is, why, this so. is why you should. Sorry, he essentially grew up in a brothel, and he didn't learn anything from the whores that he was around that whole time. <laughs> Anyone could see that Black China was a chick on a hunt. Uh, That's yeah. she was. She was looking for dough. She was with a rapper before him. And that rapper got with, what was it, Kim's little sister? And then she got his ex, which was Black China, got with Rob. If you can't see the setup coming, you're not fit. You are not fit to survive. Nope. So if he's going to get broke by this, that's exactly what he gets. He's a dummy. Yeah. She's supposed to be a best friend to the girl, you know, to was it to Kyle? Who's best friend was she? Um, can't she was one of their best like besties, and so that's Who, even worse. Listen, no, 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 I don't no, know no. all of See, that. See, listen, listen. This is this is where you getting didn't getting sidetracked. There is no friends when it comes to whores. They're all <laughs> out on and the for front. themselves. Yeah, you know. So everything that they do, everything that they say, is a hustle. And I know people think that I'm I'm being harsh, but I'm not. It, like being a hoe is a mindset. Every hoe doesn't look like Black China. You got hoes out there that look like a chick that you're going to see at the country club. But if her whole thing in mm-hmm. life is about using her attractiveness Forever. in order to get yeah. men with means, that's a hoe. So all you got to do is watch how they move, listen to mm-hmm. what they say, and you actively test them. If you start to see that it's a very manufactured way that they're dealing with you, it's a setup somewhere. Because a normal person is going to react like a normal person reacts to things. They're going to have problems with some things you say or do. They're going to try, if they really are trying to be in a relationship, it's going to be more than just the acquisition of uh, money or trinkets or getting things done for them. If everything that they talk about is a want or need that is is a, is a material object, like if you're talking to her and, oh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do about this bill coming up and blah, blah, blah. That's a red flag, you know? But maybe she's just mm-hmm. talking. Like, okay, all right, she got it. Below the lines, clear, get some things off her chest. If you lean on the ropes and are like, uh, you know, well, I hope it all works out for you. Now, <laughs> all you do is watch her from that point on. When you offer her no quarter <laughs> and you're not giving her anything, you're not helping her with none of her problems, if she starts to act funky with you yeah. and stops talking to you or whatever it is, it starts to get, it starts to change. And she's not putting that effort forward anymore. She's hustling you to get what she wants. And because you're not giving her what she wants, now she's getting mad and she's treating you like garbage. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing that men do. All all women have to do is flip that. If a man is after your coop, all you have to do is take the cooch off the table. 
and you tell him, I'm not having sex with you. I think that you're a great guy. I think you're interesting, and I want to get to know you. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not kissing you, not touching you. We're not dry humping. We're not doing anything for you to satiate yourself. It's not happening. (laughs) Not here. Okay? And I can't tell you if or when it's ever going to happen. If that dude stops calling, (laughs) if he's not nice to you anymore, then that's what he was after. Don't fool yourself. And don't listen to your stupid friend that can't keep a man that's telling you, girl, he can get it anywhere he wants. What do you think he's going to do? Keep talking to you? That's why she's (laughs) alone or in a horrible relationship. You would have more dignity than that. And it's the same thing with men. Don't sit there and be like, every. I've heard, I have friends of mine where I know a friend that went overseas, got a chick, and I was like, I would have never done that because you don't know why she's with you now. What are you talking about now? You know, they got to, I said, no, no, no. You don't have to be rich. Sometimes in some of these countries, just the fact that you have a United States citizenship, that is a lottery ticket to some of those people mm-hmm. over there. So you <laughs> don't know why she's really with you. You know what I mean? I said, I would have never done it. He was like, yo, everybody wants something. So in his <laughs> mind, wow. he's already said it's okay for a <laughs> chick to be with a dude because he can give her this. Thing, and she's willing to trade her yeah. body for the acquisition of whatever that thing is. In wow. his mind, wow. he, he's already okay with being a John. Jeez. So this is this no is how it is. I don't know for him. He's just another sucker that got took. Exactly. Did he marry her? What's that? Um. Uh, oh, you're talking to Logic. Yeah, I said, uh, did he marry her? Marry with kids. Oh, God. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But then at the same time, he's he's talking yeah, to my other friend like, yo, uh, next time you're going out to the so-and-so, let me know. It'd it be John's there, right? <laughs> what you looking for? You, you're you married. You, what's wrong? Your relationship's yo. going dead? <laughs> is, is there no passion in the wow. house? Oh, I wonder how that That's happened. That's bad. Idiot. So you brought what? her over here to go yeah. find another woman? No, but listen. Let, let's say let's say let's say he's not being a scumbag and just trying to you know <clears throat> tiptoe around on his wife. Maybe after she had the baby and got security with the fact that now I have my citizenship, I'm good. Maybe true. the passion turned off and she re- doesn't need him now. So That's she's true, it's too, probably huh? just a glorified roommate situation in the house, and now he's looking for somebody to pretend like they like them yeah. again. You know, that happens all the time. That's crazy. That is crazy. Wow. Hmm. Well, that's his fault. I mean, you, I'm not saying you can't go overseas. He could have definitely gone, gone overseas, but get to know the person. Don't go overseas like, yeah, I'm just getting an overseas girl and blah, 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 blah. You know. But anyways. All right. Hmm. So the do's and don'ts in, the, in an argument. What would you, okay, from the men's point of view, what would you tell women that they should not do in an argument? In, in, in my um, my situation, uh, don't call me out of my name, and, and nothing racial, slur, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, just that's me. Don't call me out of my name, anything racial. But uh, and don't try to hit. You know, don't, don't you know hit nobody. Man. There you go. Don't, don't hit. Don't be the first to hit, because if they do hit first, for some reason. Now, when you say don't Sorry. call me out of my name, you mean don't call you like an asshole or anything like that? Anything racial? Yeah, if it's yeah, racial. Oh yeah. Like the N-word. I'm surprised we even had to say that. Yeah. Like the N-word. Yeah. If he's hating if someone at the office, if race, that's coming out your mouth in anger, in. pack your bag. What? That's what I'm yeah. saying. That's yep. what I'm saying. Yo, but that's why he's warning. That's why he's it's unacceptable. That happened to somebody I that I know. Maybe it's happened. That's, that happened to somebody that's, I know. That's, you know, she called. She called the dude to the N word. He's standing there with a pause, like what? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so don't call you out of your name. Don't hit you. Logic. Uh. The don't do's. We're talking about what not to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't keep score. 
Like, if you're arguing, don't, like, well, I told you not to do this, and you did that, and this happened. And then, like, don't do that. You know, just mm. keep the school yeah. on how many times you were right versus yeah, that's how many crazy. times they were. Like, that's not going to, nobody's going to want to talk about it. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't and don't, keep and don't, score. And, 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 and don't bring up something from the past and they always was squashed. Yeah, that kind of thing. No, you, you can. can. There's some, there, listen, there's times that you may need to wrestle something from the past. Like if if well, somebody said they weren't going to do something, and then y'all you just found that they did it again and it, it did something, then you can reference the fact. Oh yeah, that, oh yeah, that. You right. know, oh, we okay. agreed that blah 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 blah, and when you did this, you asked me to blah blah blah, and I did that, and now you just did so and so. Now well, okay, their yeah, return, too, well. their their comeback could be, why are you bringing up stuff that already? Right, right. It's, or or it's are you, 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 you forgave if you. Yeah, you forgave me, and then you bring it back in my face. That means you didn't forgive me. So I'm trying, I'm trying to say that too. Yeah, that 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 too. Like bringing that shit out of the past. It's yeah, that, that had box. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like what the <laughs> like what the hell is that? <laughs> okay. So I, I would say don't. So I would sh- say don't go rogue. Like don't bring up something that has nothing to do of what the situation is that we're talking about. What about that yeah. time that you kissed that girl? What? Yeah. What <laughs> yeah, back do what we're talking about now. Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Has that happened 95. to you? What? <laughs> well, then again, that happened to uh, me. No, yeah. not not. I don't. I don't. I have, I've never had any issues with other women. You know, being a something that can be thrown in my face, but I have been in an argument where something totally different. Came. Like I remember, I was arguing with this one girl. And she was, I can't even remember what it was about. But then she brought up the fact that I didn't introduce her to my family yet. I was like, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> and she was just like, well, I just, you, we've been talking about it. What does that have to do with what we're talking about right now? I'm just saying, shut up. Argument's over. You lost. <laughs> uh, I got an once argument. You, once you go off reservation, you won the argument. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, wow. yeah, that's true. That. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Wow. I, I, once, I, once I got in an argument of my ex, um, and she didn't like this person, and I happened to know her. We both had to know her, but she didn't like her at some, some part of the time. And I happened to saw, see her one time, and I said, how you doing with her? What's up? And my ex found out that I talked to her and said, hi. And she got mad. Why are you talking to her? And you know, I don't like her. I was like, what? I said hi to her. And that was a whole, like, an hour and a that half. That turned into like, an argument? And, and, yeah. That's how petty it was. That's how petty it was. I was like, hold up. Mm-hmm. But, I was like, yo, this is crazy. I walked away like, okay, you got issues. I got to go. <laughs> so I went for a walk. Wow. See, Kai acts incredulous because she doesn't know how territorial women can get. Like, some girls oh, yes. can get so crazy possessive over you that they don't mm-hmm. even like people saying hi to you. Like, why was she smiling so hard? Yeah. All she yeah. had to do was exactly. show you yep. where to sit. Like, she's yep. a waitress. Why would she <laughs> give me this? She's looking for a tip. <laughs> <laughs> why did she, oh, yeah. she, why did she put the water glass? That's, 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 that's a yeah. true story. We had to yeah. leave a restaurant because this wow. girl smiled at oh me way too long. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, it's petty yeah. like that. Oh, yeah, it's petty like that. And then she, and listen, and she was being a dick to her, right? So I was like, fine, let's leave. I left the girl like five bucks. And she was like, what you tipping her for? And she didn't even, we didn't even get enough. I said, I'm tipping her because you're an asshole. And I want to give her a five bucks so she can shake That's off crazy. your asshole vibes for the rest of the day. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, man. Lord. Thought, yeah. <laughs> Don't smile at the waitress. What? This is being polite. This is being polite. Yo, it's crazy. Like that. No, I, listen, it wasn't even me. I, I, she said, you know, hi, nice, you know, nice to meet y'all. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Let me show you where to sit. And she smiled. Right. And apparently, she thought it was all the smile was for me and me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we both were walking to the table. Like, well, what are you talking Yo, about? That's being unhinged. <laughs> That's insane. Hey, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well. Welcome, welcome to the men's world. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's really insane. All right. So, so men to women, don't call out of your name, don't hit, don't keep score, 
and don't bring up past issues that has nothing to do with the issue at hand. Right? Right. right yeah, okay. Pretty much. <clears throat> sure. Women to men during an argument, what should they not do? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. This is such a pet peeve. It's a lot like what the guy said. All right, so here it goes. This is this is this is uh, my little my story. Okay, so imagine this: when when you bring up, if you're arguing about something and it's over, if you're arguing about something and it's over, right? It can be very intense or whatever, and it could have happened like a year ago or six months ago, six weeks ago. Why are you rehashing this? So here's the here's the example. My 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 little my little niece comes here to visit. So Charles splurges for like a limo, right? For everybody. Okay, cool. She gets into the limo. Never met him before. I swear she said hello because I introduced everybody. We're all drunk before they even got in the van. So he thought she didn't say hello. But now now mind you, this is not the argument. The argument is that on New Year's, my girlfriend made Swedish meatballs, three different types of chicken wings, spinach dip, deviled eggs. Okay, are you guys with me? And I made asparagus. We get to her house on New Year's Eve, and here's the argument. On New Year's Eve, I said, oh, you're not going to eat anything because she made all this food for just us. He goes, no, I only want to eat your cooking. But when I gave him this look, he got so angry, so he brings that up. When we're having an argument about my, my niece that visited, oh, yeah, your niece didn't say hello. And you know what? And you think I forgot about on New Year's, how you, how you just shot me that look like that? I'm a grown man. I don't have to eat nobody else's food, and, and I didn't even see her husband eat her food. So my thing is this. Let's keep the yeah, arguments works. within categories. If you want to argue about something, let's categorize them, please, and then let's move on. You know, it's, that is such a hideous. I this think is the most. I think it was the I'm, I'm sorry. Was How old is your guy again? It was, it was the alcohol. Right, right. No, okay. Listen. Here, here's the thing. No, he because when he to. he brought this up, he wasn't drunk. Oh, very, no, you're right. very no, you're right. feminine. You're right. You're right. You're right. Wasn't drunk when it was brought up. When we had the argument, oh, wow. it was supposed to be the argument about the van. But it turned into, and another thing, and I don't appreciate the fact that you gave me that look at on New Year's Eve and how First dare you, I'm a man. I don't have to eat somebody else's food. I'll eat this. I'll only want your food. I'm thinking, like, why are you bringing that up? What does this do with the van? First and my of all, and number I mean, one. The, van, the limo. Yeah. Number one. That what? argument would have ended before it even started because I would have asked him what kind of, no offense to your dude, so I'm just saying this in general to anybody who does this. I would <laughs> ask him what kind of bitch are you and how much more balls do I have than you that it's not an issue for me. Like, are you kidding? Right. I would have gone the route of calling you out your name because that is the dumbest <laughs> thing to argue about. Well, I was saying to me is dumb because you, like, you, somebody didn't, you didn't say didn't hi. Know, my thing is if you didn't hear – my niece or whoever, my friend, my mom, my right. sister, my brother, say hi to you. Why didn't you address it at that time? That's right. what my son said. I'm my child said that whatever. yesterday. Yeah. My I, I'm not going to sit on it for time. like two weeks to then have an argument about it with you. It's not going to happen. He brought it up six days and later And if you after think you're going to argue account. with me about yeah. that, guess who you're going to be talking to because I'm not going to be standing the there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, this same, but that same argument came up ten times since then. This was last summer when it happened. It came up again. You could because that, I, he would be talking to the wall. For it what? wouldn't have turned into an argument because I'd have just stood there right. and looked at him like, "Are you serious right now? <laughs> You're good." <laughs> Number right. two, for you to then go back and bring up something that has nothing to do with this, I totally would have asked him, are we in a lesbian relationship right now? Because (laughs) I could have swore I was with a dude and not with a woman. I I, I, I could have sworn. That's just me. That's, (laughs) oh, my God. I'm sorry. Oh, my God, it's just too much. It's crazy, You know what? You know what? I think I will... I will never get remarried. I think I'm I'm a I'm a hard hard person. Lord have mercy. But Kai, this is not the norm. So don't fear don't fear marriage. This what I just gave you guys an example is not the norm of anyone in life. This is just my my normal. But that's you're not, saying it's, it's that. But guys nowadays, you will be amazed. I don't know. Guys I don't think today? they're all like that. Uh, <laughs> guys, I don't today? think so. Really, you think so? Let's, I don't know. I don't think men are that impossible. I just think that. No, I don't think the average guy is that impossible to deal with. I don't think that everybody rehashes dumb stuff that has nothing no, to do with it. No, I, like, I, I think extent. you're giving too much credit. The average guy is annoying to deal with. There are some <laughs> diamonds in the rough, <laughs> though. But the average guy, they're a bunch of big pussies. 
uh, I mean, I freaking <laughs> gape in pussies. Is I, I can't even tell. Oh, you. I gotta make sure annoying. Charles doesn't hear this episode. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> at my no, last why, job, they were telling episode? me. Why don't let him hit his at, at the last, hear. the last actual job oh, I had, these angry. guys would be telling me these things, and they're older than me. I was mm-hmm. the youngest one, but I was the head of the department. But they would uh-huh. always <laughs> tell me their woes. And I would always come back, how I'm coming back now. Like, are you a bitch or are you a dude? And they would tell me stupid stuff like, let a, let a man be a man or some crap like that. And I'm like, okay. I would to my man like that regardless. I just cannot say that to someone that I say I love. That's I feel you. Like no, no. Screw that. I would never if talk to him, like, him or anyone that no. way. No. And I say, look, I, I say this to little boys, and I don't say it this wrong. No, I, I ask them, that. are you a man? If I, if a little boy is crying for no reason, I will totally ask him, are you a man or are you a mouse? Which one are you? <laughs> You're a man. Suck it up. There's no reason to cry for this. And I just switch it up for, for grown men. Are you a man or you're a bitch? Am I the man in this relationship? Which one? <laughs> oh Tell me God. now. Right. That's not all my God. You need to let them know. This is this is like women behavior. What are you doing? Are we now going to form a knitting circle and start gossiping together? Like, what is going on? <laughs> Good Lord. I agree. I agree with what you're saying. It's just the, the, the super macho thing is just too much where I would not even be. I, I wouldn't be hurt anyway. It would just be. Yeah, I, and trust me, I wouldn't have gone anywhere with that if I were to, because every time I try to put logic into it, no offense, logic, but I mean actual logic into the equation, it was just thrown, it was completely swept off the window. Like, you know, it's just a disrespect thing to him. Like, my, my niece totally disrespected him. How dare you disrespect me when I pay for this limo and, and the club and the drinks and the dinner and all that? And she didn't. She, I swear she said, oh, I introduced everyone, but he just didn't hear the music. Sorry, before you're loud. in a lesbian relationship but see, listen, right now. Char, Crazy. Char, listen, the, the problem with that is the king never has to yell and tell people he's the king. Right. He, he, yep. he shouldn't mm-hmm. need her to say, oh, thank you, I appreciate that. Is it polite? Right. Yes, it is. And if anybody needs to check her, that should be you checking mm-hmm. it, because it was your family, correct? Yeah, but that's the argument. He said, I didn't check my, I bet it's my fault. This whole thing, this whole disrespect is my fault because it's Hold my on, family. No, sorry. But that's you, not you true like that. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. You don't have to get back into it. I'm just asking. <laughs> is that it, that yeah. was your family, yeah. right? Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if anybody should have checked the situation with your family, it should have been you. Now, if you did not, and he has an issue with that, then it, the way to address it is not to then say, I paid for blah, 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 blah. blah. That's, that's not how uh, uh, Alpha conducts himself. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? If, if a dude wants to make sure that his girl understands that um, he – is doing everything. He, I only want to say doing everything he can, but making sure that she's appreciative. You know, then you have to set that standard early. So, therefore, whenever you get to a position where a dude is maybe taking your family out, her natural instinct of being with her man is going to make sure he understands that she appreciates it. She'll talk to her family. Hopefully her family is not ignorant enough to not know to do that in the first place. You know what I mean? And then you won't have the problem. But if everything that you're doing is to get a reaction, like, I'm going to pay for this because I want people to thank yes, me please. and feel that I'm doing <laughs> then you're now you're going down the wrong path. That, that's not, that's beta stuff. That's when you start showing off and everything because you want the attention instead of just being a, a true provider and saying, I'm going to do this because. Or, or if it was genuine, if you do it from your heart, genuine. If it's genuine, you're not going to be looking for credibility. But, but, but it gets better the longer. That's what I just and, said. And thank you for that. It, it gets better. She's completely <laughs> banned. She's completely banned anyway. Yeah, from, I told you like, she don't listen. She's just in her head talking, <laughs> and then she just has a response ready, and then she's all right. Here's the gap. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I thought you were done. I thought you were done. I just said. I just said that. W- I just said I agree with what you said, and I just said that it gets better. She's completely banned. That's why I just like wrap it up. That's it. She can't ever come around. He doesn't want ever ever want to even hear her name ever again. Like he just wow. like I don't know what's in all. And you're just letting that like, fly. You're just letting that no, fly. No, there's yeah, nothing. I feel like there. I feel like there's nothing I can do. I keep trying to fight for there's it, and it makes it worse. I talk to my son and everything. Do. 
No, uh, I can't change this the... person's mind. I mean, I can't. I mean, I've tried. I mean, mind. It's, it's, it's your family. It's like, he can say whatever he wants. He can kick and scream. I'm bringing them around. They didn't do it's anything. My, it's my, it's my ex-husband's sisters, what? daughters, and in his mind, when you divorce, oh, wow. my, when I divorce my yeah, ex-husband, yeah. I divorce the family. Oh, so that's the way that's the family. Yeah. My, that's the yeah, way it is. It's that type of family. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what makes it so complicated. Mm. Yep. I mean, these are nieces that I raised since they were like two years old, and they're like in their 30s now. So I feel like there's no difference. It's just like my actual family to me, and that's how they feel. But he's like, you divorce me, you divorce, I mean, divorce me, you divorce your ex-husband, you divorce the family. And especially because of her, she disrespected me like she did. I don't ever want to see her again, hear from her again. She's not even your blood. You know, so I'm like, wow, this is very intense. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And it just keeps coming back up. Every every other argument has nothing to do with, I forgot to get a look of breath in the store. Oh, let's talk about how your niece disrespected me with the limo. Like, really? <laughs> Let it go. I can't believe I you put up with that. You should just start playing that Frozen song for him. Let it go. Let it go. Just <laughs> yeah. play it for him. Yeah. Whenever he starts saying that, just start playing it. That's not it. a bad idea. That's not yeah. a bad idea. And Logic, if I cut you off, I'm really sorry. I honestly didn't hear. I thought you were done with what you were saying. I probably just, I don't know. I had it on no, the No, it wasn't that she cut me off. It was that I said exactly what she ended up saying. Like, yeah, if you believe, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> Oh, you're kidding. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what's the next thing that you would say don't do in an argument from women to men? Okay, I don't have any other stories. I, that was just the only story. But the other well, thing no was that I'm not asking for a story, but what's a no, tip a story, but that I, you but would now it's just a, Yeah, now it's just, you know, no, I'm not going to explain everything. I just felt like you guys gave your scenario. That was mine. But, no, the other, the other thing is, you know, put away the imaginary scoreboard, which is almost the same thing. I can't stand that. And don't call me out of my name. Absolutely not. And then, yeah, and no hitting, no fighting, no physical, you know, all of that. So kind of like a combination of what the guys are basically. Same thing we see. You know, I know I, I'll, I agree. Tell, I'll tell you I something feel. for women not to do. In the argument, don't tell me what your friend thought when you said it to her. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot oh, that one. Oh, I totally forgot that one. Darn. Oh, He's right. Yeah. That was my other one. <laughs> that was my you, other one. You know, Wait, second, you know, you know, that was my other one. That was my other one. Wait a second. What? I've never had that, Char. Yeah. Have an argument. Why are you? You know, mm. you telling me what your stupid cousin or your sister or your friend right. thinks. Like, I don't, yeah, who cares? What are you telling me? Yep. I don't even like them yeah. anyway. Yeah. So it's Absolutely. basically the same list for guys. I didn't know that, but I totally agree with the, the, with their list. It's exactly it parallel. Like it's how the I feel. same list. Mm-hmm. Well, so what about how you, Tiny? I. What about the your only list? arguments that I could say I really got into was my ex husband, and it was like the same thing. Uh, don't call me out my name. Don't hit me. Um, don't walk out. We're in, the, we're in the middle of an argument that you started. Oh, no. Don't I'm walk walking out. out I hate make that, no sense. too. I'm walking out. No, 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 no. You started it. No, because if yeah. you no. started it, you pissed me off. You don't get to walk out. I'm just sitting there minding my business, and you want to start an argument. Right. No, you don't get the. You don't get to walk out. No. Um, I agree, I agree like, with that too. if I'm sitting here nagging you, blah, 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 and I'm sitting here, hit me, hit me, or something like that, and you have to go calm down, and you need to walk <laughs> hit out. Me, hit me. Yeah. And you have to yeah, walk yeah, out to get yeah. a little confused in the situation. Yeah, that makes But if sense. you started, not if, if I'm started. just sitting there literally mm-hmm. minding my business, and you decide to start an argument over nothing, you don't have the permission, you don't Wait have minute. permission hold, hold to walk Kai, out. Kai. He said permission. Who starts an <laughs> argument over nothing? Who you talking about? Have you met my ex-husband? No, I don't. I, think he I, just, I don't care what your no, story of the argument is. No, I think he really is. just knew it was how to push every button in my in my body for me to get pissed off. Because it I don't argue guy, with people. This is the only person I have else. argued with. Guys, a robot. Logic, logic, logic. Seriously, though. How long have you known me? You have known me quite a long time. 
Exactly. <laughs> Do I argue with quite people? Quite a long time. Do I yeah, argue listen, with I'm not, people? Look, look, I'm not saying that you are an arguer. What I'm saying is nobody just thinks to themselves, you know what, it's Have Tuesday. Have you never it's been in a situation? Have you never been in a situation with some crazy girl where you're sitting there, for instance, playing video games? The day is calm, birds are tweeting, it's sunshine. You're just like, oh my God, it's such a good day. And out of nowhere. No? Out of nowhere. No, out of nowhere. Go ahead. Out of nowhere. No, just, listen, no, no. She there, says listen, something. Listen. There, there have been, wait a minute. There have been arguments for me that seem to come out of nowhere. But for her, it was something churning in her mind that she allowed to continue to go downhill and get bigger and start to get this locomotive force until she explodes over socks on the floor or something like that. You know what I mean? But it's not about the socks. It's It's about something bigger. So it's every argument is about something, whether that something is, I don't really like you anymore, and I want to break up, but I don't know how to do you it. How to do so it? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just <laughs> upset and frustrated. Or yeah. I wish you had more money to solve my problems for me because I don't <laughs> feel like dealing with my life anymore. So I'm going to scream at you over the fact that you didn't put the dishes away. You know, people argue about something. It may not be the topic of the argument, but it's coming from somewhere. So. As well, crazy that's as not my problem. Seen, maybe. Well, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> if you wanted to talk about it at the moment, talk about it at the moment. If you want to talk about it now that nothing's going on and you just want to start an argument and then you want to walk out after you pissed me off, no. It's not happening. Oh, that's just my stuff. But normally, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I don't argue. You, I'm going to tell you, your, your problem that I, I definitely see time and again, you have no patience whatsoever for anyone outside of the realm of you and the person that came out of your coochie. That's the only mm-hmm. people that you have patience for. And that's the only people that you feel need to have all of the, the leeway in the world for people to understand where they're coming from. I'm not saying that your ex is right. I'm not saying he's a great guy. He could be a scumbag. He sounds like an asshole. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to tell you that it's coming from somewhere bigger, but where you just went was not my problem. And that's the problem with most people today is that they just have this detached attitude in relationships where this person and who they might be and what their motivations might be of being with you is of no consequence because I don't want to deal with it unless I feel it's a problem. That's what you just explained. I do do actually deal with it with other people. A legitimate reason to get, wait, 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 a legitimate reason to get upset. I understand it. And as long as you don't start going outside the realm of what the f*** are you talking about, I will try and have patience. He, we argued over nothing. I'm, look, I'm not, look, he would make up stories. I'm not what? even messing with you right now. He would okay. make up stories. Like, now, it was just thing, one day thing, I realized, like, he was trying to drive me insane. I just think he was just, his goal was to drive me insane. That's all no, I No, that wasn't about. his goal. Listen, that wasn't his goal. What, what the thing is, now that you're older, what you should understand, let's say that you got with another guy like him. What you should immediately identify the next time a ex-husband-like situation pops up and he does that again, you should know immediately this guy is immature. He does not know how to communicate. More than likely, it's stemming from his childhood. And I am not his mother, so I'm not going to try to help raise him. So I'm out of here. Don't have the argument. Don't let your blood pressure go up because you should immediately be able to identify what's going on because you've been through it already. You know what I'm saying? The problem that happened when you were with this guy is you didn't have any elders in your life that told you, he said what? And then he did what? And what did you do and say after that? You know, we just 
sat there and he just came home later and you're still with him. Why? Like, you know, <laughs> someone should have walked you through that. Like, this dude, there's something wrong with him. He has a right. problem and he needs to go get help. So when you leave, he will cry and he will beg you to stay because he's a child. It's like his mother leaving for work. He doesn't want her to go because she needs <laughs> to stay around so he can wow. feel his mom is still in the house. Which what you need to do is ignore him and then leave and let him grow up. Maybe years down the line when he becomes a, a real boy, he can come talk to you. Get out of there. Stop wasting your time. That's what should have happened. But you keep you keep rehashing the situation with your ex and he was just crazy. He was just trying to drive you crazy. That wasn't his that I'm telling you, that wasn't his goal. He is a young idiot. No matter how old his his actual year age was, he's still in his head. He's a kid. So what he was doing was just throwing a tantrum and waiting to see how you were going to react. A child. Hmm. Well, 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 I understand where you're coming from, and trust me, it's not going to happen again, because I have less patience now. But real quick, oh, a lot of these questions. That invaluable. That makes a lot of sense, what he said. You really should start it really does. for some of your advice. It really, yeah, uh, absolutely. Char, you really should follow that advice, seriously. But um, <laughs> I was listening. I was listening. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get to these questions real quick, real quick. So most of the questions okay. we answered just in saying what you shouldn't do in an argument. Um, so somebody was saying, why don't women let go of, of arguments? Um, which is not just women, men don't let go of them either, as you can tell. Um, and like Logic said, they don't let go because they're children. Um, how do I get my girl, this is one we didn't, we didn't answer. So just real quick, how do I get my girl to listen to me during an argument? <laughs> I don't think we've mastered that because Char, oh as you God. can clearly see in this, in this, she still, it just hasn't happened. Whenever she, whenever so, she be quiet, you get a moment in. <laughs> yeah, but that means she heard you doesn't mean she listened to you. She listening, Two different right, things. So. Exactly. They they have cuz my daughter does the same thing. They're holding in their head what they want to say and as soon as you stop yeah, talking, it, they'll start saying they what they want to say. Yeah. They heard yeah. you said something, it didn't mean they right. listened to you. So, mm-hmm. how do you deal with that? You either deal with it or you don't or you force them to stop and repeat to you what they said. <laughs> Make sure it yeah, permeates yeah. their brain. That's what I do with my daughter. That's the only um, thing I could tell you about that. Uh, another question, and we also talked about this. Is it rude of me to just walk out during an argument? I feel if I don't, I'm going to hit her. No, no it's not rude of you. It's better for you to walk out than punch her dead in her face. I not, understand not where listen. you're coming from. But I almost, you, you have to, I almost you have choked to a pregnant it. woman. You have to preface it, though. You can't. And while she's in talk, you just get up and walk out. You have to let her know, like, look, I got to go before I, you know, put you through a wall. All right, I got to get out of here. Right. Now, if you told her, and she still wants to, yeah, 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 you get out of there. You already <laughs> told her what it was. If she can't understand that, then she's irrational. Run, run. But at the same time, at the same time, you also have to learn how to control your emotions. Because if you're having a tough conversation that's making you emotional, as a man, you need to learn how to control that emotion so you can get through the conversation. I see way too many dudes start having conversations with cops or something, and because the cop is being a dick, they start, so, so what you trying to say? That I can't. That's exactly <laughs> where he wants you to go. What are you doing? Keep yourself under control. Discuss what you need to discuss. Keep it moving. Control yourself. A lot of people don't have control over themselves. Wait, okay. you an argument, and, um, and they can be quiet. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. No, don't do that. If you have a girl as crazy as I am, don't do that. That's going to be too. Wait a minute. What did you say? Oh, just be quiet while, while the, the girl is screaming. You just be quiet and looking like it's they, not going to It's, it's no, not no, going to no, end no, no. well for he's you. A, he's absolutely right. Because the argument, when a woman argues with you like that, she can. Logic. Logic. Hello. Logic. Scotty beams him up. Scotty just beams him up. You I don't know. Logic is just God. <laughs> I want to hear. I want to hear his point. Scotty. I don't even know what he was gonna say. 
Logic, we can't oh, hear you, God. but what we're going to have him do is post his advice on our uh, on our Facebook. Can you hear me now? So go up to No yeah, Contest there you go. Radio, and he's going to post. You're back? He's back. He's back. Oh, yeah, I thought yeah. the rapture happened. Yeah, happened but we only have like 20 seconds left. left. That's the thing. <laughs> no, I was just I was just going to say that as a man, sometimes you need to know how to put your girl in the timeout box. You know, even if she's getting wild, you can you have to give her guidance. Like, no, I'm not I'm not doing it. Yep. If that's yep. the way you're going to do it, I'm not having this conversation. Come back and but talk to But that's different than just voice. sitting there and being quiet. If you're just sitting there and being quiet. I'm going to lose my shit on you. Yeah, but if, if, if you're, you're telling me I'm being I'm crazy to be and you're you talk, reeling me back in, then that's completely different. To you. Exactly. You want to listen. And, and, yeah, and if you're yelling at me and I've already told you not to yell at me, I'm not responding to you yep. until you talk to me like that. But again, mean, you've said something. That's the thing. I, the Does one it? time I actually physically, and I, I, don't, I, I just poked him. I poked him because I lost my mind. He didn't say anything. I'm sitting here yelling at him for something he actually did. I was legit angry for a legitimate reason, something he did. And he's just sitting there with a stupid smile on his face. Not saying yeah, I'm again, not arguing you're, you're back talking, with you. I'm not yelling. Stop yelling. He didn't say argument. anything. You're talking about having an argument with an immature child. I'm talking about how a man is supposed yeah. to deal with his woman. If you're dealing with a child. I understand, but that's what I'm need- saying. That's what I'm saying. Just real quick, let's wrap it up. That's what I'm saying. BJ was like, just stay silent. I was saying, don't just stay silent. That's that's not that's not going to end good if you have a girl like me. No, no, no. But if, if it's screaming. like logic. No, but if it's like logic says, and you say, hey, you're yelling at me. Stop yelling at me. That will actually reel me in, and I'll be like, you know what? I am acting crazy. Da 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 da. Really? But if you're just sitting there. Ignoring me? You haven't said no, anything? No, no, it's not ignoring you. I can look at you and be quiet. You, you can be looking at it at doesn't you matter. You're just quiet. quiet. I'm going to <laughs> escalate beyond the point Yo, of that, reason. That kills them. I'm I don't know why you. that kills them. I don't know why that kills these women. <laughs> no, we no, sit there and just look at y'all. No, there's a difference then, between shutting somebody down and ignoring them and just being quiet. If you shut somebody no, down, no, the attitude exactly. and ignore them, when, when they have a little bit No, not ignoring them. If you're looking at you and... Well, and no, but, listening, but there's a certain and, way to do that without being totally disrespectful of, and, and be ignoring. There's a way to do it. Some people are just so rude with that. It's like it makes you just want to scream. Like, like, are you kidding me? So you're just being, you're okay, just okay, okay. me okay, by not quick, saying quick, anything at all. Go. Real quick. Okay, so here's a scenario. You didn't put gas in the car. You took the other car that had gas in it that I responsibly put gas in. <laughs> You leave the other car. I jump in there, about to go to work, <laughs> halfway to work. The, the gas goes out. So when we get home, because you're not answering your freaking phone, so when we get home, I'm yelling at you like, blah, 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 blah. why do you want to do it? And you just sit there with a stupid smile on your face, ignoring me or being quiet and staring <laughs> I didn't say at me. I was you don't think that's going to escalate no, no, beyond no, reason? No, I was a calm day. I know what I say. I was a calm day. I forgot to put gas in the car. That's all. You, you know, that screaming but that's you wouldn't be if but you how long acknowledge you me you, you say it. calm down or you say something if you say something <laughs> that's going <laughs> to make me realize what's going on if you just sit there and stare at me yeah. all I'm going naked. to do is get worse and worse <laughs> and then it's going to get so bad that I'm going to hit you or I'm going to do something because do something See? <laughs> I was, I was going to be violent. What the fuck? Why is it going to be violent? You know what I'm saying? What's the violence for? <laughs> she said, I'm going to hit you, BJ. <laughs> What's the violence for? I look. BJ's like, whoa, I whoa, lose whoa. It. Younger. It's just going to get further and further. But anyway. The fairer sex, they call them. Yeah. The, the what? The fairer sex. Oh, yeah. shut up. I get it. You're right. What's the head? You get shut violent with so anyway, his wife. Next week. Next week, what we're going to, because we're over right now, next week what we're going to be discussing is um, how to keep your relationship alive when life gets <laughs> a little bit too busy. So that's what we're going to be talking about next week right here on No Conduct Radio, 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursdays. So we're off the air. We're off the air, yes. and I actually understand the process now, so I'm good. I know oh we're off the air. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're off the live air, but th- people are still going to be able to hear this, Charlotte. Right. It's not like I we're finally, talking to I each get other. It now. Yeah, right. I get it, it only now. took five years for five her to years. get people. Five years. 
Lord have mercy. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget, you can send us your questions via our hotline at 484-840-3627. That's 484-840-3627. We look forward to hearing from you. Peace out, everyone. This was fun, everyone. Until next week, don't ignore ignore your mate. Don't do it. You'll end up like Kai. Oh, well, you're going to get Kai put, put, put her so. in the corner. Don't the ignore your mate. Don't ignore your mate. Don't, oh, don't, do uh, don't not treat her like a child. Like Please don't. If you want to survive till <laughs> next week's show, don't treat her like a child either. <laughs> Thank you. Look, Thank you, Kai. Make, make her okay. write on the paper. I won't yell at you anymore 100 times. Please, guys, do not listen <laughs> to logic. And don't get mad at your man for not eating the meatballs on New Year's Eve. Just don't get it. Just don't say anything. Just, oh keep, my it, just God. keep it moving. Please, please. if your man just gets mad serious. at you for that for three months, not, please because leave he him. Because eat the meatballs. Because you are in a lesbian <laughs> relationship. Listen, <sighs> tell your man that being a vegetarian ain't the way to go. He needs some meat in his life. <laughs> no, my meat. He clearly said I don't eat anyone's cooking but your shark. I make plenty of meat, trust me. Oh, All right, guys, have God. a good one. Everybody, oh, what kind week. of relationship are you in? Crazy. Bye. Bye. Have a great week, everyone. <laughs>